Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Today we're back on Tournament Desert, Zero Hour's most popular map, and we have Think in the blue as Toxin, and we have Agent Akira in the red as USA Vanilla. So, um, Agent Akira, actually, I remember saying this on stream recently, when I first started playing Zero Hour, Agent Akira um, was one of the like 2v2v2, 3v3 players, I think. And for me, he was very, very hard to beat. This was years and years ago when I first started playing. I can't even remember what year it was. Maybe 2003, maybe 2004, uh, maybe 05, something like that. I'm not 100%. Um, but yeah, way back in the day, he used to be a really, really top player. So good to see him back, actually. And um, I'd be interested to see how he fares up against the top players nowadays. I didn't used to see him playing a lot of 1v1, but let's see what happens here. I think I don't know who it is. Uh, speaking of which, Think is building a tunnel on the left-hand side of Toxin and in the middle as well. Uh, tunnel back at home and skip the tunnel at his um, second supply. So if Agent Akira did a dozer drop, which he's not, but if he did, then that would have caused massive problems and given him a massive advantage. But something that Agent Akira has missed out on the opportunity um, for in this match so far. Two Chinooks on both supplies and the tunnel on the left hand side looking like it is going to get up. No dozer crushes from Agent Akira which is a little bit weird actually. Usually the dozers want to be like scouting for workers trying to run over stuff. Maybe that I think that worker was the very first worker that Think um, sent. So uh, let's see how Think does actually because I, I don't know who, who this guy is at all so I'm interested to see who it is. A lot of people playing under different names nowadays, including me sometimes when I'm playing 2v2v2 to stop myself getting doubled. So, um, yeah, you can't really tell who a lot of people are, but I think is on the uh, offensive. One missile defender is being crushed and four terrorists unloaded. Uh, it's going to be a little bit painful because the terrorists are stuck a little bit. Real, real shame. But they are, do get the detonation off and the barracks and the supply have gone down. That's pretty good, actually, for the use of four terrorists. Especially when they're so close together like that, usually um, one of the terrorists kills the, the other three or the other two or whatever. Another tech RPG coming in and this aggression from Think is absolutely on point. Agent Akira is now only on one dozer um, and that supply is not finished which is real real bad. Uh, Agent Akira actually only on three Vs and I'm guessing there's not a lot of uh, missile defenders in there, only one actually. Uh, he needs to build that second supply ASAP. Technical is coming in again. I imagine this is the tech RPG and you should just unload there, but the this micro is bad actually. Two RPGs died for absolutely nothing and now that um, technical is gonna um, die easily. And we've got a Paladin tank on the field, which is a very rare sight nowadays. Really good to see the Paladin in the field, as it would say itself. Three workers on the second supply needs five or six. But we've got some techs here, potentially with RPGs in there, and it's going to hunt the dozer of Agent Akira and the only, only Paladin. Uh, v going down, Ambulance looking like it's probably going to go down, get a few crushes off. And the supplies are um, under threat again. The uh, Chinook's taking a little bit of damage, but actually the Vs are going to clear up everything. I think the um, target in there from Agent... Sorry, from uh, Think... With the um, RPGs, the target selection of the Chinooks was the, was a bad thing to do. He needed to kill the Vs and keep the, the V numbers thin. Because uh, actually now Agent Akira is on no dozer and only a barracks. Sorry, only a war factory of course. So um, actually really there should be no way he can win this. MTVs are not going to be able to win against uh, Toxin. So I'd be really, really surprised if Think is going to lose this game. He's on a third supply already. Second tunnel going down on the left, which is going to make it really, really difficult to push through. Uh, back at home, Think needs to be dropping down probably another another supply just to kind of cement his victory, just in case any kind of drop comes in, which is a potential. Got a first Paladin. Sorry, a new Paladin back on the field. First Paladin, of course, did go down. Only one Chinook collecting over there. Three over here. So a bit of a mistake there from Agent Akira. Um, but yeah, I'd be surprised if Agent Akira is able to win this, especially now that like, he's got the capture upgrade. He's going about to get his own oil, potentially going to get the enemy oil. He's already building the second supply in the center. Five Vs and a um, two Paladins in the mix. Uh, both oil captures are coming in. Uh, that Rebel wants to back off and just hide in there until a later time. If the, to be honest, all Think needs to do is just spam a load of tunnels. That's all he needs to do. His Paladins, of course, have got the point defense lasers. Doesn't look like they're defending every single laser, though. B 
But yeah, I think all he needs to do really. Oh, terror. Was that a terror attack? Terror, a terror attack even? Got loads of paladins out now. And um, think is being pushed back. But yeah, as I was saying, I think all he needs to do is just drop down uh, every little bit of money he's got. Just drop it down in tunnels. And or do a terror attack on the war factory. Uh, that's all he needs to be doing right now. He doesn't need to be um, doing anything else. And he should win this fairly easily. Um, but let's see what Agent Akira is able to do with these paladins. The oil is going down for Agent Akira. Of course, that is the best choice because he doesn't have the capture upgrade. I'm pretty sure the barracks died pretty early on. Uh, we've got a terror coming in. Terror tech potentially. And the power is going down. Four terrorists to kill one power is a little bit overkill but of course the power is still down so now the war factory is going to be on um half the production rate some people ask me what what can gla do with power when gla gets power the um the buildings build 100 percent faster so twice as fast so, but when uh, usa loses power the buildings build half um half as slow so uh, this attack from uh think is looking pretty uh Sorry, for the attack from Agent Akira is looking pretty formidable on the right side. Tech RPGs are coming in and trying to kill the buildings the slow way, but the Paladins and the uh, and the V are there to try and defend it. And I think they're probably going to clear this up. I don't think they're going to cause... I don't think the Tech RPGs are going to finish this off. It all depends on the last couple of RPGs. Uh, supply does get picked off, actually, and Agent Akira is continuing the push down the right side. I mean... Oh, oh my God, he's got 11k. Right. He's got 11k. What... <laughs> What, he could just spend that on like, I don't know, 10, 15 tunnels here and just completely shut this attack off. He's now on 13k. But I think he's just going for the base trade. I think he's going to just try and kill this and the supply is taking heavy, heavy damage. Is this going to go down? Because that is his last building, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the Paladins and the Vs are scrambling to try and defend this and that supply is going to survive just on about 10% or 15% of his HP. Agent Akira is now continuing with the push down the right hand side, not moving out just yet. I think he's floating 15k. And a command center is going down. That's a bad choice. A palace and 50 tunnels need to be going down, not a command center. A command center is the thing that you least need. Uh, but he's struggling to know how to kind of react to this push on this uh, top right side. Agent Akira now is just fully in defense mode trying to defend that and I think I think that Think is only worrying about um, killing this last building that that supply is the luckiest supply I've ever seen yeah Think is not worried about his base he just wants to kill that building but actually I think this is the wrong thing for him to be doing I think he needs to uh, he needs to be in defense mode, and he could have defended against this fairly easy, in my opinion, with a load of tunnels and load of load of RPGs inside of there. There's very little the USA would have been able to do that against that. But now he's in a bit of a bad situation because some of these are vetted up now. They're a bit stronger. He's got Hellfires and all of them, and he's got a load of units out. Uh, Chinooks, in the meantime, are collecting from the center now. Actually, I don't even know if they're collecting. They don't need to collect anymore, do they? Because uh, he can't build anything anymore. But uh, Agent Akira is continuing the base crush. He's... Um, absolutely wrecking think space and the more and more that he doesn't sell these buildings the more these v's are going to vet up so uh it's going to make it harder and harder to deal with if he does if he does have to face that army later on i mean he even needs to kill that and it's only got a, few, a little bit of hp left or he needs to deal with this army one v is going down uh the quad that popped out there died instantly i think two v's have gone down now in total arm stealer is going down as well more veterans on these units um, Barracks now going down for Think. Our homes are in He's got 8.8k. Arm Stealer going down in the center. I think he just wants to get a um, Terror Attack to hit that building. But with the Fire Base and with the uh, the Paladins, the Hellfires, the Vs, Low power. it's going to be pretty hard to do. I'm not convinced all these units have Hellfires. It could build a hell few more Hellfires. So Agent Akira has done a full circle of the map, almost. Uh, clearing out everything as he goes. The tunnel is now taking heavy fire. There is a uh, RPG inside of here. It's gonna, the RPG inside of here also picking off the um, hellfires of these units. That V is getting awfully low, actually. Don't really want to be losing that V, especially a Vet 3-1. Uh, there's a couple of terrorists out now. 
uh, being produced in two places. I think that thing actually, yeah, it did go down, and that one was actually very low as well. Technical is now out. Um, but Agent Akira still has this pretty well defended. And as soon as the terrorists kind of get evac'd uh, from here, then the uh, point defense lasers of the uh, Paladins actually come into play and they can hit the infantry. So let's see if this technical is going to get in. I have a feeling it's not because this is so well defended. Technical is a little bit indecisive. Can it go in or not? It's going to try and get in. And uh, does kill 1v at least. But. Um, it's kind of this army here that he needs to worry about. Um, has he got any more technicals? He's just not interested at all in this in fighting this army. Uh, he's now rebuilding. It's like a uh, it's like a virus or a bacteria GLA where it just kind of spreads to where you've already cleared up. Uh, maybe the command center actually was not such a bad idea because he's killed two V's there with a toxin rebel ambush. Um, but Agent Akira is then looking in a worse and worse position. The more his army is thinning out. That's what I mean, with like relatively minimal effort, this army is just naturally thinned out. But if you like put some hard defense into it before and you put if you put loads of tunnels down, have loads of RPGs, this army would have been thinned out so much more quickly and it probably would have been dead by now, this army. And he probably, uh, Agent Akira probably would have th uh, thrown down GG, but uh, yeah, he's kind of put a half effort into it. He popped like one quad out over here earlier. And then Toxin Rebel ambushed then, but Oh, a bit of bad selection there because that, that Paladin was already getting low and he switched target and as a result, none of them have died. Just a little bit of an experience here from Think. Uh, this supply here is still alive and we've got a quad there as well, but a Paladin is going to go and find him. Uh, Paladin. The Paladins and the Vs are now going to try and take out the Command Center. The Command Center is actually taking quite a lot of damage quite quickly, actually, I think, because all these are heroic now. That's why it's taking so much damage so quickly. Uh, the supply is probably going to be next under threat, but I don't think Agent Akira knows that Think has uh, expanded back in his main base. And that Toxin Rebel Ambush can't be far off um, cooldown. When the, by, the, by the time that command zone is built, it will can't, can't have that many more minutes before it needs to... Uh, before it can be used again. Paladin and the range is going to take out this supply, finally, um, in the base of Agent Akira. This is a bit of an unusual and weird game. V's now going to go and find this base at the top right again. Uh, the quad is going to go down pretty quick, even while the V's are moving out. And the workers are going to take loads of damage. That V needs to be extremely careful because it's very, very close to the Toxin Tunnel. Almost going down. Paladins here are now going to fight the uh, Toxin Tunnel over here, I think. Uh, but Think doesn't actually have that much money anymore. War Factory is going down. It all just comes down to a Terror Tech, if that Terror Tech is going to be able to get in or not. And at the moment, he don't think he has an arms dealer. Supply is going to be completed. But that base is going to be cleared out again. Uh, Worker has constructed uh, another supply, so uh, Think is hanging in here a little bit. I think really that Toxin Rebel Ambush might change the course of this battle. Uh, I wonder if he's on 16 Rebels yet. Um, I don't think he is. What he wants to do is wait until his army engages, wait until some of the units are on lower HP. So this is what he kind of should have been doing before when he had 13k. You see how low that Paladin's got? Just in three RPGs. Imagine if he had a whole tunnel full of them. He could pick these units off, go inside the tunnel, and then and then uh, retreat and fight, fight somewhere else on the map. Uh, I wonder if the Toxin Rebel Ambush is going to be able to fire in time. I can't remember the cooldown off the top of my head. I think it's two and a half minutes or three minutes, something like that. Toxin Rebel Ambush is not going to be used. Chinook's now going to go and collect from this supply, which has actually been shared now by both players. I think he's dropping down another tunnel by his uh, new supply in the center. Yeah, Think had this game in the bag really, really easily, in my opinion. But he has um, thrown it away, I think. I think.
think that Think has thrown the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's not going to be able to win unless, yeah, he gets an arms dealer and a load of terrorists oh, out. Boy, he has got enough boring. now. Um, so it may well happen. And there's a tunnel there. So a terror attack down this line, I'm going to predict that's going to be the end of the game. Maybe. Let's see. Or is Agent Akira going to be able to close down that war factory before a uh, technical gets out? Um, let's see. RPGs now out and they're going to go inside of the building and that's going to cause big damage to these uh, Paladins. That Paladin's going to take heavy, heavy damage. Actually, they're going to kill the building in time just because they're so vetted now. RPGs actually... Oh, Paladin's extremely low. Toxin Sunnel is going to finish it. Yes, there's only one Paladin now on the field. Apart from these three back here. Tunnel now being cleared out as well. Got a quad with a vet too. Not seeing a terror tech though just yet. He has got 1600. And he's got a worker back in his uh, base up here. And a command center is going down. So he must be pretty close to having um, the, the rebel ambush. Um, Agent Akira now looking for any stray workers that may be rebuilding a base. And is he going to find the command center? Low nah, power. he's just out of range. It's quite a bit out of range, actually. Um, these paladins here are still on standby, waiting for, waiting to defend something. The quads here now are going to try and take out this uh, firebase, and I think they're going to be successful. The firebase is going to get low. Probably going to trade off for the quad. The quad is just going to escape, and another vet to quad now. Uh, the quads are popping out of the tunnel, and the tunnel's gone down, actually. So these quads are now trapped. Uh, one of the Vs is going to go... Oh, this bad selection again from um, from Think. Like, bad bad unit targeting. Needed to finish off that V, but he switched to that one. And as a result, now both are still alive. Um, the command center is going up for Think, and the Rebel Ambush is going to be ready anytime soon, I think. I can't, every time I say think now, I'm just thinking about this guy. I think how silly it is <laughs> that I'm saying it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try not to say think anymore. <laughs> but the Rebel Ambush has got to be ready anytime now. Uh, think is under massive pressure. I don't understand when he had the money before. Why did he not make a terror attack? But he's building a supply back at the top. He has oh, got enough money. Did he sell off his arms dealer and now he's going to rebuild the supply at the top. I think that's what he's going to do. Rebel ambush on top of the V's and three V's going down so that's actually looking really really good for him now. Agent Akira is going to have to use his remaining paladins. He's leaving one there back at home to defend but I think he just needs to use everything now because that one paladin is not going to be able to stop a terror attack. A terror attack will just be able to go around so you might as well just use all the paladins. But we've got an Agent Akira with three Paladins against 16 Rebels now. And those Rebels actually vetted up very quick. You see, when a Rebel, when a non-vetted unit kills a like a three-star vetted unit, then the, um, the, the unit itself will gain that much more XP. And so will the General as well. So will the player in terms of General's promotions. Like if you killed that three-star Paladin, you'll get more XP in your promotions bar than if you killed that Paladin there with no promotion. All the Rebels are pretty much dead. Think is building another Rebel, though. Why is he building Rebels from the barracks? I have no idea. Supply is now going down for Think, and he has another supply built back at home, and Agent Akira doesn't know about this. I think he, I think he thinks that this is the um, only remaining building that he's going to win. The pa uh, Paladins are going to engage the terrorist, and the terrorist shouldn't be able to do anything because he, even if it gets close, the point defense laser will shoot down the, the infantry. The Chinook here provides a huge Low range, power. so he definitely Unit can lost. see this now. So we're literally coming down to the last few units and buildings on the map. But the four Paladins are rolling out, should we say. Uh, but he needs to go straight to this base in the north. There's no point hanging around. These units are so slow. They need to go all the way across the map very, very fast. 
So Agent Akira is now trying to steal some supplies. Actually, he's going to come in and do a drop. He's going to try and drop the... Uh, he's going to try and drop the Paladins on top of Think. So he uh, needs to move that one out. It needs to, it's a little bit micro-intensive. needs to get them in there now. Weird how you can fit two huge Paladins inside of that Chinook. The size doesn't really uh, add up. Paladins, you see the point defense laser now. You see the laser just shoot down the um, the worker. Two more paladins are dropping in, and the worker goes instantly down. Uh, I'm not sure what Think has left. I think, I think this is <laughs> um, his last his last uh, last bit of hope. There's a worker here. Oh, is he going to make a barracks? If he makes a barracks and three terrorists, he's won the game. He needs to drop it down very, very fast, though. Because this, uh, mind you, if he'd left one Paladin at home, he would have been able to take out some of the terrorists. But, yeah, Barracks. Oh, man, these zero-hour games nowadays, they uh, never cease to amaze, do they? It has to be some terrorists produced from there. And Akira now probably thinks he's won the game, or he's hoping that when he destroys these last two buildings that he's won the game, but... I think he's always managed to get a worker away and start building somewhere else. And Agent Akira is always left chasing. The thing that Agent Akira should be doing now is... Um, as soon as he sees that cell especially, he needs to be scouting the rest of the map with the Chinook or with the two Chinooks. Because those Low Chinooks power. provide a massive range. All you have to do is kind of waypoint them up and down the map. And you want to kind of find uh, what, what's going on. He's building a tunnel there. Has he got enough money for three terrorists on the tunnel? I must position myself well. I hope so. First terrorist has hit, and there's another one there. There's no way now. Uh, Agent Akira surely cannot stop that terrorist that literally is coming down to these last few moments. I think the ter terrorist is going to be stopped. The terrorist is going to get through. Why didn't Agent Akira move towards the terrorist? Oh, no. Agent Akira could have stopped that if he had just moved the victorious. moved the paladins closer to the terrorist. The, the point defense lasers would have hit it, and he would have won the game. Oh man, it just shows sometimes just literally millimeters in zero hour. This is why I refuse to play with any um, players that that lag, because just a few millimeters or a few microseconds in a game of zero hour mean absolutely everything. It's not like a game of StarCraft Two where everything's about macro and how fast you can. It's basically like playing the piano. Sometimes StarCraft, the amount of keys you have to press and the amount of things you have to do mi macroing up, whereas Zero Hour is, a, is more of a um, micro game. Literally, the, the, a few millimeters or a few centimeters on the screen can be the difference between winning or losing the game. And in that, that is a perfect example of why. Not that lag would have played a part in that. Well, actually, maybe it, maybe it would, but um, it just shows that Zero Hour is such a close game and every little moment means everything. So yeah, rant over. <laughs> um, units destroyed for Agent Akira. Absolutely loads. 159. It's very rare you see a ratio like that. It's more than like 1 to 4 there. So absolutely crazy. But Think actually collected loads. But when he was floating 13k, he uh, definitely didn't need to leave the game to go that close. He could have just dropped down a load of tunnels. But to be honest though, if he did that, we wouldn't be watching replays like this and seeing such... Um, such close epic games uh, okay he could have won that in a, in a normal game versus like a top player the top player would have just dropped down a load of tunnels and the game would have been over and forgotten about but because um the game actually went so close towards the end like that and because he didn't because he floated that 13k and didn't spend it on tunnels we actually saw a very very close unique game so um yeah, respect to both players. It was a good game. Um, unfortunate for Akira, he didn't... I don't think he maybe realised about the point defence lasers. He could have really stopped that terrorist at the end. But um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like this video if you liked it. If you're new to the channel, remember to sub. Uh, GG, and I'll see you very soon.